Hi, my name is Chad Nelson, and I'm a Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement Solution Specialist with Western Computer. In this video, we're going to review how to create an enhanced SLA. We'll begin by logging into the Customer Service Module, and heading over to Settings, and then Service Management. We'll then click on Service Level Agreements. I've gone ahead and pre-populated one called Service Priority. So this is based on the case entity when created and it's determined based off of the priority option set which is high, normal, or low. So we need to add low. So we'll begin by clicking the plus button here and name this low priority. I'm going to update the SLA KPI to be resolved by have to be case and the field we're going to go off of is going to be priority and it equaling low. And then the success will be off cases as well, but the status of it equaling Resolved equals resolved. Update the time frame as well from one hour to two days and the warning from 30 minutes to say one day. So now I'll hit save. And so you can now see we have the success actions, failure actions, and warning actions. That allows us to send an email, create a record, update a record, assign a record, change the status of a record. So really cool here in relation to movement of these SLAs. So I'm going to hit save and close now. See it's now been added to that SLA. I need to now activate this, activate it. I'm also going to set this as the default. All right, so let's go test it out real quick. To go to service, we'll go to cases. I'm just going to create a new one here. And I'll say that the AC unit fan is broken. There's a corporation, we'll call it phone. Hit save. And it's the proper SLA. I'm gonna just add the for product there. You can see also on the right hand side here recent cases which ones are active, inactive, resolved. And so you can see now that it is clicking off at 23 hours. So this is the amount of time that we have to resolve this case. If I were to update this and say if go from normal to say hi, hit save, it'll cancel that out and then start the timer related to what high is set at. If I recall, we set low to two days, so take a look at that one, boom. So that's canceled now, and we now have one day, 23 hours, 59 minutes to get this figured out. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay alert of all the latest video releases surrounding Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagement.